Hi guys, I'm David Lovett from Sydney's Ocello Restaurant. Today we're going to be going through the process of curing your own duck brasaola at home. A really, really simple but rewarding dish. Uh, we start with some fresh duck breast. We've got a quarter of a cup of salt, a quarter of a cup of freshly ground black pepper, a tablespoon of crushed chilli, a tablespoon of brown sugar and a tablespoon of fresh herbs. Uh, the first step of the process is just to combine all your dry ingredients the salt, black pepper, brown sugar, the chilli and our fresh herbs. And we just need to mix that until it's really, really well combined. Make a nice even layer. Take our duck breast and coat it really, really well. Now, if you're not one for spice and that, you can sort of omit half the, uh, half the chilli. Once the duck breasts are all coated, we just need to place it into a bowl, loosely wrap it, and place it in the fridge for four days. So, after four days, this is what you're left with. A firm and moist duck breast. Now what we need to do is truss our breasts. We just take a piece of kitchen twine and tie a simple knot like that. And then we repeat that process until the duck is trussed. And what you're left with is that. Now we just need to tie a knot in the top of our string so we can hang it in our fridge and the final stages of curing can begin. After three weeks, your patience will have paid off. What you'll be left with is a really firm and wonderful smelling duck breast. As you can see there, it's wonderfully chocolatey brown and firm inside. Two ways that I like to serve this is very simply with fresh figs, just tear it up and then finish it with a little bit of your favourite honey. Or you can have it in a salad of bitter leaves. I've got radicchio, chicory and whitloff here. All we need to do is add those to a bowl, our duck breast, with a handful of roasted walnuts, a little olive oil, a touch of vin cotto and a pinch of salt. Give this a mix. The bitterness of the leaves, the saltiness and pepperiness of the duck and the sweetness of the vin cotto just work really, really well together and go fabulously with a glass of Cloudy Bay Pinot Noir. To enjoy more Pinot and Duck sensations this July, follow the Pinot and Duck Trail online.